right, so here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won 9 of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, in everything he does. It is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. Goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song? And Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon. It finally happens to I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expression. He's so stoic. Do you know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he stepped inside the octagon? His list of opponents, the guys that he had beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go, round one. And it's hard not to get a little bit starstruck with Fedor Emelianenko graces the proven ground. As for the matchup, DC, a lot of people believe these two heavyweights are as evenly matched up as any two in the division. And I'm not sure if Emelianenko is going to be able to get his takedowns with relative ease here tonight. So maybe it'll be the power, the discipline from Fedor on the feet that gets the job done tonight. Either way, just a special treat to have these two heavyweights engaging in front of our eyeballs here tonight. All right, so this boxer told us he has done nothing but defend takedowns over the last eight weeks, and he's able to stuff the first shot tonight. John, I was smirking. <laughs> I was smirking in the fighter being like, okay, this guy's just off. But nope, he goes out there and he does exactly what he said he was going to do. This has to be a massive boost to his confidence as this fight goes forward. Level change there goes for the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. Back to his feet. There's 
delivers that body shot. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Oh, and he connects with yet another hook. Nice job on the feet by Emil Winkler. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Unable to connect. Oh, he heard it again. Oh, with authority, the body. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picnic. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And the kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Turning his hip over into the leg kick. You wonder if the offensive fighters can start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. There's the shot. There's another takedown by Emilianenko. Oh, right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Great shot from the top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees up belly. He's postured up. He's landing big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. Lewis gets back up again. Nicely done. And there he goes, and that's another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but he's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's playing on the side of his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Fader. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Look to the head lands flush there by Emilianenko. Final seconds here. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Fedor Emelianenko gets caught by that. Oh! really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
Got his guard pass. Fedor Emelianenko gets back up here. Big ground and pound. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand -up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Well timed with the short uppercut in the clinch. He's hurt again. He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Oh, look at that. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Might get the TKO here. from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Big shots being landed on both sides here. It's been a crazy fight. Oh! oh this could do it. Nice leg kick. Still plenty of time to go here round two. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So a nice transition there after he got stunned on the feet. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Ilyanenko's back in half goal. You gotta be careful here. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Lewis. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground stroke. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, working for the submission again. They're both struggling so much to get out of this position. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, the fighter's gonna have to. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Oh. Lewis's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. This is going to be a bloody fight. I want you to all right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. 
You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so that's it. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Man's a jab. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just can... Oh! Beautiful lead kick is good there by Fader. Lewis is doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Finds a hole for the left hand there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Takedown defense is there. Oh, big knee! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. He's hooking bad, man. That right hook is nasty. for the takedown now and he gets it beautiful transition there and he was getting worked on the feet so a nice job to get the fight to the ground the black beast gets up he is back on the feet looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground but he went out there to get back to the feet Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? Oh, it, it has to, right? Because you gotta be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see him worsening it. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. So Lewis is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean, John, you look at his face, he's been beaten up for a very long time. I could see the doctor coming into the ring, looking at the cut and saying, I've seen enough. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, misses with the jab. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Able to block the punch there. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Oh! Strikes again! What a
inside the octagon once again. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast. Well, Derek Lewis might just be the UFC heavyweight champion of the world before this run is said and done. Congratulations to the Black Beast on yet another UFC triumph here tonight. And Lewis really starting to put all of his skills together under Bob Perez. That is a scary proposition for the rest of this heavyweight division. Of course, tonight, though, it is all about the Black Beast.